So we're here this morning at Fussy Play Outdoor Nursery, which is uh, an entirely outdoor-based nursery just on the outskirts of Kinross and the kind of centre built. We're an entirely child-led and free play early learning childcare setting. So the idea is that we create an environment where the children really come in, uh, lead what their play looks like, have autonomy and choice within everything we do, and rather than having pre-planned activities that we take learning outcomes from, the staff work around the children to try and support and extend whatever it is that they're doing and then absorb or capture the learning that happens naturally through that play. We involve the children in all the planning that's happening around the site, so the things that have taken their interest, either that we've observed, that we pull through, or when we actually sit down with them and they give us the suggestions of what it is they want, whether it's a new resource or a new area to play. A pirate ship. Oh, well done. We're about to put a sail on our pirate ship today because they've been complaining that it doesn't have any power, so it's going to be wind powered from now on. Have you ever, ever heard about the Eastern Bunny before? I think it's about a culture and an ethos. It's about everything you do rather than specific activities. Not that we don't have some of those, but a lot of what we do is it's kind of choice based discussions that we have with the children. So, pretty much everything that we do is child led, free play, so we are just in supporting that. Kindness and respect. We have kind of two shorthand words in the nursery for all the children and I guess we apply it to our staff team a little bit as well and we talk about being safe and being kind. It, it seems simplistic to say be kind but there's a lot of work goes into getting to that stage so putting in the definition of what we actually mean around that and that is what, what I and I think the staff team all agree is needed that sometimes we will have to have harder discussions, we'll have to help children make better choices at different times. Oh, oh here it comes! Wilfred, right, can we wait a minute, Wilfred? You're not going to do very good listening. Can you sit there for me just now then? Because it was only two just now, because we're going to have to move around a little bit. And who's this coming now? Here. You and if you just wait as well, because we don't want too many people up at once. But you can always do that in a kind, nurturing and supportive way. The old tradition of kind of hierarchy and discipline. I think there's a raft of research to show that, particularly at this age, that really doesn't make any difference in actually fostering good quality, close and loving relationships with children and supporting them to, to understand and make the best choices they can around things. And recognising that they won't make good decisions a lot of the time because developmentally they're not there. But what, what our role is about consistency, it's about kindness, it's about making sure that we're there to support them at each stage and reinforce what the right thing is and also help them if they get it wrong that we support them with that as well. So what about this one? Does this one look like it's alive? Does it have any branches? No. Does it have any leaves or needles? No. No, so I think that one's okay. There you go. We say that's okay, we got that wrong, but we can always make it right in supporting the, the kids. With, so not encouraging them to apologise because an empty apology doesn't mean anything, but we talk about how can we make it better or how can we make it right. Just going to carry the suitcase over for me, Renji. And then we give the children the opportunity to decide what that might be. And for some of them, it's just a straightforward, oh, I'll go and say sorry. And that's fine if that's what they want to do. Others, it'll be go and give a hug. Sometimes it'll be go and get the toy or the, the spade or whatever it was that they took and give it back and engage back in the play. So it's giving them the control to start negotiating those peer dynamics and finding ways where relationships are challenging to repair them. Hello. This piece of wood is dead. I'll go and see if there's any more nails in the bucket. That's it. The way we bring rights in, obviously having in-depth discussion about rights in UNCRC with children who are two, three and four is challenging, so the way we approach it is through kind of choice-based language. It's giving them a sense of autonomy within the play, within the setting, and of course we do that through you know, being very child-led, through the quality of our relationships, but it's about helping the children navigate and make decisions around the play and the relationship where they're supported to understand what the options are and how to make positive choices around that. So quite often one of the key ones we have is children not wanting to play with other children, which can often be, be challenging. So we, we encourage and support children to go make those decisions. If they don't want to play with somebody else, then that's okay. But that doesn't mean that the other child can't play in that area. So they're starting to understand that they have a right and a choice to who they engage with and who they play with. But they also have to understand and bet the space and the movement of the other children. So it's helping them develop the self-regulation around that as well. We are good pirates. 
one of the things that we're very keen on it when we hand over at the end of the day that we pass on relevant information to parents but sometimes for some of the children that can be information that they don't want their parents to hear because they're perhaps feeling like they didn't get a decision right or they didn't make a good choice and of course at the time they're only three or four so they can't regulate that but when they have to deal with it later on that can be really challenging so a big part of what we do is about having conversations with the children about how we're going to pass that information on to their parents so they're part of that discussion and that they're prepared and ready for us going with them and we do it jointly with the kids to talk about the really good things that have happened and anything negative that we have to pass on so it's about how you involve the children in that and give them a sense of autonomy and control within things that affect them even the things that might be negative can still be turned into something that feels positive and that they can feel supported through those discussions effectively if, if we get it right and if we involve them in those discussions. Is it okay if I come aboard? Can I come aboard? Yeah. Everything that we do is touched by rights, but it's probably not something that we think about on a daily basis in that context. It's just over time something that has just become the way we work. Chugga, 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 chugga.